For the sixth day in a row, protesters take to the streets of Philadelphia, speaking out against the shootings of black men by police. They were out again this morning. Thanks for joining us on CBS 3 Eyewitness News. I'm Brooke Thomas. And I'm Jim Donovan. Those protests tied up traffic in Center City earlier today. Eyewitness News reporter Justin Finch has the details. The city of Philadelphia is watching. The whole world is watching. Black Lives Matter! Marching onto Market, then right onto 16th Street, the group Philly showing up for racial justice, protesting what they call a troubling trend of police violence against African American and minority communities. We wanted a chance to demonstrate that there are white people in this city who are also outraged. The group points to last week's deaths of black men Alton Serling in Louisiana and Philandro Castile in Minnesota. Their names and those of others whose deaths were police involved were read aloud. Starting at 8 a.m., the march of more than 100 disrupted Center City rush hour traffic, leaving many drivers at a standstill. Some were angry, some not, but all noticed that this crowd chanting Black Lives Matter was mostly white. I think it's beautiful that you have people of all races who are coming together for a greater good. Police kept a watchful eye, concerned more about safety than the message. We believe that our job is to pro protect and to facilitate protest, certainly not to hamper or interfere with them. And here at City Hall, demonstrators say they realize that today their message may not be heard, so it may take a second time or a third time, and they say for that, they are ready. We'll, we'll be out organizing in the, in the streets until the end of racism. Black Lives Matter! At City Hall, I'm Justin Finch, CBS3 Eyewitness News.